You talk to yourself 600 to 800 times a minute. What kind of language are you using? If you've ever lost your car keys, do you go around saying, oh, I can't believe I lost my keys again. Oh my goodness. I am such a, a nutcase. I know my wife and I have had this talk and she says, I'll act like a nutcase if I like, if I like to act like a nutcase, honey. Well, maybe it won't work on your wife, but here's the point. When you talk to yourself 600 to 800 times a minute, be conscious of the fact that whatever thoughts you feed your mind will enter into your self-talk. So keep it positive, keep it constructive. And the best way I know to do that is to be focused forward, not on the past. Focus forward on where you're going. Where are you going right here today in the present and where you're going in the future. Don't allow your mind to go back in the past and get mired on those problems we talked about earlier. So the whole point is control that self-talk, which is going to happen whether you consciously try to control it or not. So consciously program in positive talks. You know what? I talk to myself out loud a lot. I do it at the grocery store in the produce aisle. In fact, sometimes if my wife is with me, she'll quickly scurry on over to aisle number five. Produce is in number one. And then sometimes she'll call me and say, honey, why don't you go ahead and when you're through with the bananas, why don't you just go ahead and drop those off. I'll come by and pick them up and I'll meet you at the car. And in fact, when you get to the car, why don't you go ahead and get in? I'd rather, I'd rather not anyone not know that that guy talking to him, talking to the bananas is really my husband. Well, folks, you get the picture. But the point is, if you talk to yourself out loud and it's in a positive manner and it's focused on where you're going, you're going to program your computer up here to help you get there. What is it you want to accomplish? If you're turning around a company, I can tell you right now, the higher percentage of employees that you get to program their minds, talk to themselves in a positive manner, focused on their goals that are congruent to the company, then the much higher likelihood you're going to get it turned around. Believe me, I'm the luckiest guy in the world because everywhere I go in these 40 different small to mid-sized companies, they've turned it around. And the they is the employees. I also advocate teaching while you're turning. That's why I have been teaching marathon leadership for over 20 years. It helped me in my first turnaround. I was already listening to Dr. Stephen Covey and the seven habits of highly effective people, the psychology of winning with another service academy graduate, Dennis Waitley and uh, Brian Tracy. I, uh, I have walked across hot coals with Tony Robbins and used visualization in that particular realm. So teach while you turn. That's another big part of it. And the more you teach, the more you can get your people, your employees, to teach and program their own minds with that programming tool of talking out loud, out loud. Abraham Lincoln used to talk to himself out loud. He used to read out loud, knowing that once you read out loud, you enunciate the words, you hear them again, you process them in your supercomputer, and it embeds in your positive control room up here and you focus forward on your goals. So, Keep your talks uh, positive and remember to guard your thoughts. Dr. Robert Schuller once said, you are, you are the average of the five people you hang around with the most. Think about it. Who are you hanging with? And that includes if you're hanging in front of the TV for two or three hours a day. Is Homer Simpson one of your best friends? Or some other character on TV? or maybe it's on the internet. Those are constructive mediums if you use them in that regard. So don't get me wrong, 
but just be conscious be aware and when i say conscious i'm really just talking about self-awareness be aware of how your mind works with these 600 to 800 words a minute it is very critical that you control uh, your thoughts because they beget your language that that begets your actions so guard your thoughts control your self thoughts and watch where you're getting your input from who are your favorite five people folks have a great day thank you have a great marathon it's yours run it